These phonics lessons are produced for non-profit purposes out of love for Jesus Christ. This lesson we're going to talk about where to go from here. You guys have done great and learned a lot, but we're going to talk about how to make sure that you don't lose what you learned and what to do. Some of you have guessing habits from too many sight words. We're going to talk about how to make sure you don't slip into those bad habits and other ways you can keep learning and reinforcing what you've learned. One thing you can do is watch my online spelling lessons. They're a quick review of everything learned in the phonics lessons. They go into a lot of detail about spelling, but also repeat all the phonics. They're a great review. It's also a good idea to repeat the phonics lessons. A friend's child watched them through three times, gaining a grade level each time he watched them. There's a lot of information packed into each lesson, and you may find that you learn a few new things every time. Basically, you're going to need a lot of practice, and as they say, practice makes perfect, but only if it is perfect practice. If you're just guessing and doing things incorrectly, it's getting the wrong sounds and words into your brain. You need to make sure you're sounding things out correctly and doing things right. You need to have someone help you or do something where you can be certain you're doing it right. Well, I'll talk about that and some of the ideas later on in this movie. My phonics concentration game is a great way to practice and fun too. The nonsense words are really good at making sure you really know the phonics and are learning it well. On my website, on the On Reading section, I have a How to Tutor page. It's the one to down towards the end. And it has an idiot-proof guide to using blend phonics. It helps step you through how to teach that and add in syllables to it, and also how to do some syllable division and add in some syllable division exercises and spelling rules. It's a good free way to keep learning. Also, there are some great phonics books out there. Here's a few that are especially good for remedial students. Here they are. We All Can Read by James William. Rx for Reading Teach Him Phonics, sometimes listed as Prescription for Reading, and Back on the Right Track Reading Lessons. These are all linked on my website from my Good Reading and Phonics Books page. Phonics Pathways has some good spelling rules and can be used for either a beginning or a remedial student. And a good reference book is the ABCs and all their tricks. It's based on a study of the 17,000 most common words in English. Another way to continue improving is to work on the spelling side of the equation. Phonics is decoding and spelling is encoding. If you use a good rule-based spelling program, you'll improve your phonics knowledge while better learning how to spell. On my Spelling for Success page under the On Spelling section of the Phonics page website shows some example programs that you can use. Many are available for free online and there are also some cheap ones that you can purchase that are very effective. Another program that I really like for older children and adults is called M.K. Henry's Words. It has phonics, spelling, and vocabulary instruction all in one, and it breaks words up into their origin. You'll learn a lot about Latin and Greek roots while learning to spell and sound out these words. It's usually cheapest to order it directly from ProEd. When you're reading, you should learn to use a dictionary. You can watch my dictionary lesson again, or there's also some electronic alternatives that make it easier and also more efficient to look up things while you're reading. The Kindle 2 and the iPad both have integrated dictionaries. You can just click on a word and it immediately looks up the definition of it. There's lots of free older books that you can use, and re old readers are great because you can start at the grade level that you're at and keep moving up, working through harder and harder books, learning how to read better, and also learning new vocabulary. 
There are also several portable talking dictionaries that will help pronounce the word for you and you can carry it around and use it. This, a good one starts at about $80. When you're reading and using a dictionary, you should try before you click or before you type in and look it up. Try to sound it out and try to figure out what the word might be. If you get in the habit of just looking things up without trying it first, then you can start guessing again and it, it won't make you a better reader. If you try and then look, if you did something wrong, try to analyze what you did wrong and why you made that mistake. And that will help you be able to better read new words in the future. Parker's Readers are some good older readers to use. They are linked from my Webster Speller page which is linked from my on reading area. These older books have some of their tougher words defined and pronounced to help you. Another good series of old readers is the 1879 McGuffey Readers. Make sure you get this version and not the older 1826 version. The 1879 version has a blue and orange cover. The older version has a brown cover. The older version is based on sight words. There was actually a period from 1826 to 1876 where whole word teaching was practiced even back then. The 1879 series is great because it has the difficult words pronounced up front with a special marked print that you can learn. These readers are free online from Gutenberg Press or you can get the whole series very cheaply from Amazon Books. Another good mark print is my UPP. It's the symbols that I've been teaching in these lessons. I have various documents written in this mark print that will help you sound words out correctly and read much higher grade level things than you could reading normal text without fear of having to figure them out. You can also read along with a sound chart, which I taught about in Lesson 28. This will help you figure out how to sound out different sounds in words that you may not be able to figure out. Another great free program is Webster's Speller. I especially like the online version from Don Potter with some bolded words. We've already learned a lot of the syllables showing how this works. It's very powerful since Webster's developed our uh, first American Dictionary and also taught school, he really knows both our language and how to teach kids. I've had a lot of success with it with my remedial students. I'll show you how some of the words in Webster work. Webster's speller is based on syllables. We've already learned some of these syllables. They end in a vowel, they're long. Bay, be, by, bo, boo, by. They end in a consonant, they're short. Ab, eb, ib, ob, ub. His syllables, are, or his words in his tables, are then arranged by syllable pattern. And the bolded syllables show where they're accented. And unaccented syllables are more likely to schwa. Let's try some of these words here, and you can see the accent and schwa pattern. Baker, maker, poet, silent, enter. And some three-syllable words with accent on the first. Laziness. Intellect. Now we'll try a couple harder words. When A is unaccented, it'll schwa to a. Uh. This happens when A is at the beginning of words very often in many words. Amaze. Abasement. Agreement. In these words, we show the Y rule for Webster Spiller. Unaccented Ys have their second sound of E and Accented Y's have their main sound of I, like in my or by. Victory, deny, faculty. In longer words, Y is almost always having its second sound at the end because the accent usually follows somewhere earlier in the word. Propriety, civility, security, exclamatory, observatory. The longer the words are, the more likely they are to contain elements of schwa. The explicitly marked accent pattern is very helpful for everyone, but is especially helpful for young students and ESL students. It helps them hear the schwa accent pattern of English and be able to pronounce words that they might not be able to pronounce on their own. 
amplification, qualification, regeneration, renunciation. On my Webster Speller page, linked from my On Reading page, there are links to free online syllable divided books from Google Books. These are books divided into syllables, like the syllable division in Webster Speller. These syllable divided books enable students to read material at a much higher grade level than they normally would be able to read, because the divided syllables make the words very easy to decode. Several of these syllable divided books are also available to purchase as reprints. I love reading. And that's why I started phonics tutoring and have the website and these movies to help teach people how to read. Reading, as I say on the main webpage, is your read window on the world. And phonics helps them make it happen. When you can read well, you can figure out anything. There's books about everything from how to fix up your house to how to do better at your job no matter what your job is. If you're a waitress, you can read books about tips to get better at um, tips and any other field, there's books about people who have worked in the field for years and what they have done to be more successful. You can also learn about other lands and times and just about anything you want to. So, enjoy your journey. And I hope that you will better learn to read and take some of these tips so that you can read anything. But most importantly, to be able to read the Bible so you can Choose for yourself whether to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. The Bible is also a book you can read over and over and over again. I've read through it many times, and every time I read it, I learn something new. Salute Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermas, Patrobas, Hermes, and the brethren which are with them. Salute Philologus and Julia, Nereus and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints which are with them. Salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Timotheus, my work fellow, and Lucius, and Jason, and Sosipater, my kinsman, salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. Gaius, mine host, and of the whole church, saluteth you. Erastus, the chamberlain of the city, saluteth you, and Quartus, a brother. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. To God only wise, be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen.